Camp Treacher, and we'll get to you. John Hale, we will start with you. Hi, Sir John Hale with the Courier Journal. When when news first broke that you were going to transfer, there was some speculation that maybe you would test the draft waters and at least see if that was an option. Why didn't you go that route? And I assume that's off the table now for this year. Uh, like for this year, I had a conversation with Coach Carl uh, about that, but he told me like we gotta work. We have a lot of work to do. For as myself, I feel like even I test the draft. Uh, it is nothing like yeah, I know like yeah, whatever re like result we get is not gonna change my mind. My mind is I gotta work, I gotta get better, I gotta be ready for this team next year. Jerry Tipton, let's go to you, and then Ken Spencer will be after that. Yeah, Oscar, as I understand it, you practiced with the Kentucky team some this past season. What was that like? How do you feel that like you can contribute to Kentucky's team next season? Uh, it was great experience for me. Um, it was great. Like the practice was absolutely different from where I did came from. Uh, the practice I see there's a lot of stuff for me to work on to be ready for this team next year. So like uh, that was great for me to see those things. So now I'm working on the things to be ready for the next year team. Okay, Ken Spencer, let's go to you. Yeah, Oscar, kind of playing off that a little bit. You know, how much do you think that that kind of gives you a leg up going into next season? You know, kind of getting familiar with the system a little bit and also just kind of seeing what, what this team needs and what you need to be for this team. Yeah, that really helped me a lot. And uh, I see what I need to work on and to help this team. And I know what was missing in this team, like uh, like myself. We really struggle last year, like this year with a uh, rebound. It is something that like yeah, I really bring to the table too. It's uh, I'm a fighter. I go for every rebound. I don't care who I'm going against. And uh, post move, we had a lot of skills, but we did not have a lot of mass on it. Like uh, we, I feel like there was people kind of like bully us a little bit, but I'm be ready for them. <laughs> John, I'll come back to you. Oscar, I know at West Virginia you played alongside another big man, and maybe there's been some talk about the, the floor getting a little clogged at times. How how do you feel about those kind of lineups, and, and how does that kind of factor into how you'll be used here next year? Uh, like it was, that was great to play against, uh, to play with somebody big, but like. Uh, I did not really give a space to that. The system we were playing, it was really close up, but it was good. Like uh, we were dominant, everybody we go against. But as I see Kentucky, the way we play here is more way different than how West Virginia play. It was, uh, they play one in, four out. That give you like a lot of opportunity to go one-on-one. -on -one. That give you a lot of opportunity. Double team came, you kick the ball outside. That is a great system. Like, I feel like I'm in the right place. John Clay, we'll go to you and then John Wong. Oscar, you were talking about that you needed to do work. You needed to do a lot of work. What do you want to work on? Where do you feel like you need to get better? Um, I got to get better on my jump shot uh, post move, like always. And uh, like, I had a conversation with Coach Carl about. Uh, don't forget the thing you brought you here. The things you do better, don't forget those. You have to keep getting better on the things you can do the best and keep learning the new stuff. That's that's what I'm learning. And I told them they can teach me how the game basketball is because I'm I'm a new in this game. I got a lot to learn. That's why I'm listening to them all the time. All right, John Wong, go ahead. Hey, Oscar, John Wong, Nola Media, Just the Cats. Uh, we hear so much about the transfer portal, so many athletes in the portal. What are your thoughts in general about being able to, to go from one school to the other so freely? Uh, for my thoughts for that, like, uh, like I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a transfer student. Uh, sometimes 
you choose a place and you get there like uh, it's not working it's not like you don't like it, people you don't like the place it's just you don't feel like uh, you gotta keep it going over there like for me i say like uh, um, like i'm a truly believing god is god make most of the decision for my life because i pray for it and i listen to what god is telling me to do then i make my decision so for what i see everybody moving transfer like uh, i don't know what the situation they're going through but my situation it was leading by god and Coach Cal, he always says that Kentucky is not for everybody. What was it about the University of Kentucky that made it the perfect place for you? Uh, for what coach means, Kentucky is not for everybody. This place is for the people who really need to be success, who really need something in their life. Uh, for me, being in this place, it is a blessing. Uh, it is hard work and believing God. Because uh, the best gift always comes from God. It's God give me gift and you need to work for it. So I'm so happy being here and I feel like I deserve to be here and to help this team. Thank you. Uh, Jared, to come back to you. Yeah, Oscar, I understand that uh, in high school you, you sort of were aware of Kentucky and, and your goals were to play for Kentucky and be a one and done player. How, how accurate is that? It is very accurate. Um, I wanted to be one and done and go transfer my school. Um, I wanted I choose West Virginia over Kentucky, but I, will, I went to West Virginia. Kentucky was my school, my favorite school, my dream school since freshman year in high school. But I ended up by choosing West Virginia. But look what God did, and He sent me to the place I always pray for Him to to be. So I'm so I'm so happy to be here and I know I wanted to be one and done since my freshman year, but like it's not how like the way God he does things it's different than how we do things. So we just need to follow his way. And I wonder how often uh, is your last name mispronounced? <laughs> I probably <laughs> <laughs> what sort of crazy pronunciations have you heard of? <laughs> uh, the crazy one I hear was the somebody called me like uh, Oshibwe, like uh, Oshibwe, something like that. I was like, uh, who are you calling? Like, that's not my name. That's not me. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, like uh, in French pronunciation, it's a uh, French, like I probably say, uh, they call it Chibwe. But it's here to make it a little bit easy, you can call me Shibwe. That's, that's how I say, like uh, Shibwe. <laughs> It makes it easy for everybody, like a tea and silence. Thank you. So, Ken Tomenzo, we'll go back to you. Yeah, Oscar, you kind of mentioned it was your it was your goal from your freshman year to be a one and done, but but obviously the path changed. How do you have to be flexible when when that path does change and like, hey, look, this is just the journey I'm on. Uh, can you repeat that one more time, please? I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, your goal, you know, when you were a freshman, was to be, you know, kind of a one and done and, and go to the NBA. But but things change. How important is it to be able to kind of be flexible and just kind of go with the journey that you're on? Uh, that is a great question. Like, uh, it's in, in life. Like what my daddy used to tell me all the time, you have to be patient. Sometimes you're planning stuff. God is planning something else for you. Uh, that's why we need to be patient and trust God in every situation you're going through. And work hard and never give up. John Hale, go ahead. Sir, you seem like a really happy guy, a big smile, but when you're on the court, my understanding is you play very ferociously, you're, you're you know, pretty physical and stuff out there. How do you balance those two personalities and turn that on when you start playing? Yeah, like uh, when you're outside, yeah, you enjoy, you spend the time with people, like uh, laughing is the gift God give me, but when you get in the court, it's a time for business, it's time to take care of your, that's my job, like when I'm out there, it's not, there's no time to joke around anymore, it's time to get business done, and we gotta win, it's all about winning, for what I understand in this game of basketball, you have to give everything, you have to win the game, it doesn't matter how hard the game it was, it's, how you're finished like it's about winning so when i'm out there my mind is really concentrated and focused to try to help and win the game 
Go Jeff Drummond and then Tyler Thompson. Oh, hey, Oscar, Jeff Drummond from uh, Rivals.com and Cats Illustrated. <laughs> I was just wondering, in, in the time you were able to practice with, with the team this past season, what some of those kind of matchups were with the, the team's other big guys, and did you really have a good uh, competition going with any of those guys? Yes, I had a really, I had to go hard because they needed um, somebody physical, push them, go stronger up with them because uh, they were struggling against some people, some bigs in our league. Uh, that's why I had to work harder. I have to run to put like it go stronger with them all the time. We needed to do good. We needed somebody who can help them. They, we had a lot of skills in this team, but we were missing physicality. Um, but this year, I feel like we're in a great, great situation and we're going to make a change. Tyler, go ahead. Hey, Oscar, Tyler Thompson with Kentucky Sports Radio. I saw an interview with you after you transferred to Kentucky <laughs> in which you said when you entered the transfer portal, you were really waiting on one phone call to hear from one coach. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell us about your relationship with John Calipari and what it, what it means to play for him finally? My relationship with coach has been great since my high school. Uh, and even when I decided to choose West Virginia over Kentucky, uh, he called me, he was like, I'm proud of you. Like, you gotta go where you feel you're gonna be comfortable. Uh, just one thing I told you, keep walking. There'll be nothing easy in life wherever you go. Since then, my relationship has been great. Um, and when I was, when I, I was Kentucky of a few years, and I'm always be like, uh, I wanted to play for Kentucky was my dream school, but why did I change my mind? And I'm, a, I'm at the West Virginia now. But, and I feel like he, I was not happy anymore and everything was not good. I was not laughing. I was not enjoying my time anymore. Uh, that's what I say no, like, uh, this is the time I pray. I pray a lot because I want a guy to help me with the situation. Most of the people think like I was gonna ruin my life. I say no. That's why I say you cannot listen what people say. You can only listen what God is saying in your life. But and I, after that, I decided to leave. And I had everybody in the country call me, tell me how much they're gonna help me, how much they're gonna get me to the league, how much they can do. But I said, I wanted to hear from Coach Carr because I see the team is not doing good. I was hoping if I can come straight and help this team, but I couldn't. I said, yeah, I can practice to um, be ready for next year. So I'm so happy being here. Guys, we got a few more minutes here with Oscar. Dick, we'll go to you and then John Wong, I'll circle back to you. Oscar, your life has been a real whirlwind over the last couple of years. I mean, you're far from home. <laughs> The world's gripped in a pandemic. You, you're changing schools. To, you're going to play for a high-profile coach. I mean, John used the word balance. How do you balance all that? How do you handle all this so well? Uh, you just uh, you just got to go through it. Like It's like uh, you're on a plan right now. You're going through the turbulence. So you cannot just give up. You have to stay focused and pray God. Uh, the more you go through that, the more stronger you get in your life. That's what I learned pa this past few years. And uh, I'm getting smarter and I know who I can talk to. I know who I can trust in my life through everything I'm going through. You just need to stay strong and focus and work harder. That's how you're going to get through this. Thank you. Listen. John Wong, why don't you hand us off? Oscar, one of the things that frustrates so many fans here at Kentucky is that we don't really get to know the players very well. They're here for a little while and then they're gone. So give us a little bit of a jump start. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and mm -hmm. uh, some of the things that we may not know, one or two things that we may not know about you that you want the fans to know. Uh, one thing I probably say about me, like um, I'm a really truly believing God and um, I do things to glorify God and everything I do, I just put the name of God before everything because I know even me being in Kentucky is by the, uh, the grace of God. 
And the fans, I know, is fra like frustrated a little bit. They want to spend more time with their players. But this this school is built different. It's built to help people come in and get like help this team and go. But like, if you lose somebody, like you're gonna get somebody else good. That's good about this place. It is a place you come and go and bring somebody else good. This place is built to help the kids to reach their goal, but it isn't helping school too. All right, guys, we're going to end it there with Oscar. We, uh, we appreciate him making some time for you, and we appreciate your patience and us getting him to you. So uh, give us a little bit. We'll get a partial transcript to you in the video.